there guys, this is uh, Dirge1982 again, two videos in one day, I know, shock horror, don't fall over all at once, yeah, with surprise. Right, do any of you guys remember a show back in the 80s, which was just as good as Transformers Generation 1, just as cheese as gener Generation 1, called G.I. Joe, a real American hero, real American hero. Um, well, G.I. Joe was good, I love G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant franchise. A very cheese, very American -y, you know, let's kick the bad guy in the groin sort of thing. Um, had a live action movie recently. Um, which, it, as well as it tried to remain true to the source material, you know what they did. They did a Baver sort of thing with like uh, Transformers, and they pushed it through firmly into the millennium, and they basically redesigned all the characters. Um, one of the characters that stood out for me was Storm Shadow, one of the two Ash Akashigari ninjas, who uh, Storm Shadow Snake Eyes are both members of the Ashigari, Akashigari, sorry, and um, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, I was walking around the other day, as you do, in that pound shop which I got Han Solo from, and I came across uh, certain amounts of uh, you know G.I. Joe stuff, so I ended up buying three six-inch figures, I ended up buying Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow Parachute, and Snake Eyes Parachute. But whilst I was there, I picked up two 12 inch figures. I picked up Snake Eyes. And I picked up this little fella. Uh, well, not exactly little, is he? He's rather big. I'll just remove his sword a second for um, review purposes. But yeah, 12 inch Rise of Cobra Storm Shadow. Now, this figure is not too bad. It's better than two. I mean,. Snake Eyes looks a bit rubbish, but Storm Shadow kind of like pulls it off. Well worth $4.99. Um, as you can see, he's decked out in his uh, you know white cobra attire with the uh, cobra symbol here, um, the completely white costume as he is in every single incarnation of himself. Um, yeah, initial um, impressions of him are that you know. This is a good figure. I quite like this figure. I like it better than I like Snake Eyes. Um, very, very good. Um, cloth costume, very, very good light quality. As you can see, you've got the very, very good white fabric, very, very good wearing fabric. You've got the uh, solid plastic head. They could have done something better with that. They could have, they could have put a cloth mask on. But you know, as I said, you know, figures can't be choosers. Um, the articulation on it, as you can see, is arms go round. Oh, I would put them 360, but I don't want to crease the costume. Um, they go around 360. Um, the wrists are articulated. They turn 360 degrees. The wrists do. This wrist, however, has a bit of the limp wrist issue, but that's because of the gimmick, which I'll get into later on. Um, solid plastic. Well, they are not solid plastic. These are removable, actually. Underneath here is kind of like an action man sort of shell. I'm kind of convinced that they redid some action man. He was basically painted on some like face onto here, but still, you know, that's big, that's that's controversy. He's got the different weapons. You got his uh, pistol there. Um, this sword is from Snake Eyes, but seeing the Snake Eyes is absolute shit. I um, did that and put it back over onto here. The sword itself, sorry if I'm getting out of the way, has actually got the Agashigari symbol on it, which is really really cool. Um, very very sturdy plastic this sword made out of as well, which is really pretty good. I'll just put that to one side. This one here is Storm Shadow's sword. It's got the white hilt, the Agashigari symbol on the front, much much longer than um, Snake Eyes' sword. Uh, you got um, Storm Shadow's short sword as well, which is um, is Nash is um, oh, Naganara. That's it with. Um, the Agashigaru symbol on it as well. Again, um, <sighs> Raphael style Sai, which um, hasn't got the Agashigaru symbol on it, but hey, that's good. Other features on this figure are that his legs move, bend at the knee, move, and it bend at the knee right up, mind you. So that's some pretty good articulation there. If you could, you could put him like in a running pose with his arms out like that with the swords in each arm but I'm not going to try that because he never ever stands up on my shelf but when I get my own place I may pose him and um, Snake Eyes in a bit of a running battle sort of thing 
But then I move on to the to the other gimmick. You have as you can hear with that, you have the whole sword swinging thing. But the way that I place his rib makes him look like he's doing something rather dirty. So what I'll do is I'll put the arm up like that, and I'll show you properly what's the place. But yeah, that's, that's just the gist of it, really. That's his one gimmick, sword swinging action. His next gimmick is this strange little thing. Don't know why he has these. He has like, lights and sounds. And what's that piece of music from? Let's hear that again. I want that theme tune, but I don't know what the bloody hell it's from. Maybe you good people could tell me. It's probably from the G.I. Joe cartoon, but hey, maybe not. But all in all, this figure, pretty good for the value, 4 99 that I paid for it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give it a uh, 3.5 out of, ten, out of um, 5. Sorry, 3.5 out of 5. He's not the most beautiful looking toy in the bunch, but he does his job. And he looks like, like Storm Shadow, that's all I wanted, for, four, for £5. Pounds. I, I'm I'm satisfied with it, but on the other hand, I'm not really satisfied about the quality of it sometimes. I mean like the, the limp wrist action here. Why? The god awful time I have to spend stand, standing him up. At the moment, Han Solo is propping him up on my shelf. Um, the limited posing as well. I mean, why can't you have him like that? And why didn't um, Hasbro, I think it's Hasbro that distribute these, take the time to, I don't know, put a display base in there with it, knock it up a pound extra, six quid, and then you can put a plastic display base with a cobra symbol on it, and possibly storm shadow along the bottom like that. And that's what lets down this figure, that's what gives it a three out of three and a half out of five. Any more, if they'd have gone the extra mile, it probably would have been a four, and then a stretch, a five. Now, what I would really like to see is Hot Toys bring out a version of both this guy and Snake Eyes. That would be amazing quarter inch with fucking loads of weaponry that would be absolutely amazing but for the time being I suppose we have to make do with what we've got anyway this is uh, the Dirge 1982 and Storm Shadow signing out